So, I just got these chunky monkeys by Gorilla Whips. And I also got some rock lights. I could only hook up two of the four because they don't give you enough cord to reach from the whips up under the dash where I mounted all the stuff. I bought a rocker switch for the whips and a rocker switch for the rock lights which I don't need. So this is what you need to know if you're gonna buy Gorilla Whip stuff. So if you buy the whips with the controller it'll run your rock lights and your whips. So if you buy a rock light kit they send you this which you don't need it comes with no power cord you link your controller into this cord right here the data cord there's a power in but they don't even send you a cord to plug it in so I don't see it being an amplifier as much as a splitter I guess you can buy that cord separately but for the amount of money they charge you you'd think that would come with it so I got four rock lights, one on each corner, which have splitters. So, so you can actually add more rock lights just by plugging directly into that one. They make splitters and all kinds of stuff. So I plugged into the, from the controller to that rock light and then jumped over across the back to this rock light and same thing up front I ran over over here jumped from that one to the one over here and I'm, I'm one cord short because they don't give you enough stuff to run back in to plug up to plug in the front rock lights so if you buy Gorilla Whips of any kind probably as long as you buy the controller you can run your rock lights off it so all you have to do is buy the individual add-on rock lights don't buy the kit because you don't need that thing don't buy a switch because all that plugs in together and turns on with one switch you don't need the rock light switch unless you wanted to run two completely separate systems which would be kind of silly in my point of view because they all linked together and the colors synchronized but that's just something I figured everybody needed to know before they buy Gorilla Whips they're very nice they're built very well all the connectors are awesome they screw together little washing little locking washers and uh, they're all waterproof little little beads inside there to you know, keep all the connections dry they don't send you any directions whatsoever so it took me quite a while just to kind of use common sense and figure out what was what but it really isn't too bad the biggest thing I had a problem with was trying to figure that stupid thing out because there's no direction saying how to use it and you actually don't even need it I don't even know what it's for really I mean unless you're gonna run a shit ton of lights on this thing you don't need that if you're gonna run all the underglow strips and LED strips and multiple rock lights then maybe but then you need the power cord for it which they don't send you when you buy the kit which is stupid but that's it for this for now thanks